Welcome to Power Supply Hell. What do you got going on? Well, two dead 3,000 power supplies, so I took the better part of a couple days and I soldered in the 3,000 connector to this and minus a couple wires and then I'm like, all right, let's get ready and mount it. Whoops. I'm getting a saw. That's the brand new $70 power supply I bought. I'll use it in a 2000 or something. That's your brain trying to comprehend its own stupidity. So I took my other micro power supply part that actually does fit. And I have a tick board for Mr. Simon to make another one of these things. But I have to, I'm unsoldering all these things. And I'm going to keep their round plugs. That way I can crunch all of the 3000s plugs to it. And I tried to repair uh, this, but the transformer's dead. So I wrote dead. It's going to be a cable donator, and then it goes in the garbage. So for this, I have to spend the boring time to solder suck all these big plugs out, get this mess of 3.3 volt junk out of here. A minutes later, here you go. So these are the plugs I'm talking about. And I'm going to take the clippers off because they go in these massive open holes here. And it's hard to wrap old Amiga wires because they're messed up and crap. So I'm going to take a couple minutes and pry these plugs off and see how far I don't get. All right, so I got the clips out. They're right here. They all came out pretty good. I can use them again that way all this mess this ATX mess we can just get rid of that now I'll keep stuff like the Bergs and crap because you never know when you need a coupler or a whatever extension I'm just gonna pull these out they shouldn't be too much of a bother all right so there's the 3000 plug and the 12 5 and ground of the floppy the idea is this, I need to crimp these, crimp these, and add these. Well, this is uh, minus 12, minus 5, tick, or wait a minute, plus 12. So this has to go on to this. So this mess has to wire into this mess, like 5 volt. 12 volt ground and on a plug so I got to crimp that plug around it but I got to look at how many I got so I have two plus 12s four grounds two plus fives and one 3.3 I have a 5 VS here this says program this says power switch on and this guy is negative 12 so because this board's going to need a tick, I have the tick board for Mr. Simon. 330 UF 200 volt. That'll put a, that'll put a hurt on you. 5 volt, I get one and a little tiny one. So that is going to suck. Boring update. I got the wires crimped. One of them, the 5 volts. And they go in that hole right there. However, that hole is just a little too small. There you go, one eighth hole is the stock one. So I will just put it in my 20 volt drill and just kind of wallow it out a little bit. I can't go too big because I don't want to cut into the other lines. I'm just gonna just kind of wallow it out just a little bit. All right, let's see what works now. Does this go in there now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boink. There we go. So there, sorry. Look. I can see that hole poking through. Right there. So I'm gonna fill this bastard up with 1968 lead solder. A lot of flux. Really just zap her in there and then I'll just trim the whole thing down. Yep. Alright, now I still have two left, 
but they're going to go in the small hole. And I don't even know if I need to put a collar, shock collar around them. Oh god, this is such a pain in the ass. Power supplies are just such, they're just, they suck. It sucks ass working on power supplies. It's fun. It's fun. That shoved through. Kind of melted. But it's all the same voltage, don't care. With this soldered in, I'm going to clip it down. Just really clip it down. So it's almost flush. And the massive solder holds it in and it's not too high. And I'll foam back the other side too. That's just the five. So that's better. I got the plugs in. I heat shrinked. And I got them flush. Whoop. And I got them flush here. I got to do a little touch up on that. But it's in, it's flush, and that looks a lot nicer on the inside. Cool. So now I have to do the 5 volt and the ground, and I have three mystery wires that will be eventually power on button and uh, minus 12. A lot of grounds. A lot of grounds. Three packs of grounds, and I have three ground holes. So after much struggle, you can see now that I have the wires heat shrinked and boogered up and then I cut the excess solder off and there. I do have a few extra wires. Negative 5, 5, brown is tick. I'll go to the Simon board and then I have a negative 12 which will go off the negative 12 here. It's blue and that's staying on the board. I'll just leave this long because this will be the Simon board and we tuck the whole conglomerate into here. This is power switch. That's that and then the original Amiga connectors are all done. And they will go out the front once I get it all sorted. So they're all isolated against each other. Heat shrink tubing all around. I even cut some extras just in case. Here's the tick board from Mr. Simon. Just like on the other 3000 power supply, I have to pin it with these little dang pins and it has two fan headers which I'm not too worried about. I just have to stick this in here and then my 12 volt comes in. I need a 12, a negative 12, negative 5, 5 ground tick. So yeah, I'm going to tie in a couple wires, that's why I kept some loose ones and the extras here off of these plugs that I never used on the 4x4 and the 6-packer. So, yep, I need a ground, which I'll just tie into the existings because I am not about to fight that thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp all the wires for the connector first. And then I won't bore you with that. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. It is two, two hours later. And this is what I've come up with. What the heck? The plug for the 3000 is on. I've wired in the tick board from Mr. Simon. I had to tap into a couple of the, the ground, a 12 and a 5, and my power wire. All I gotta do is remove the two dudes for the mains, tape this thing up like it owes me money, stick this tick board right there, and shove it all in the case. And then attach the fan. I can either use the power supply header or the provided header from the tick board. Don't know, it's one fan, and I kept the little 60 mil, 40 mil from the power supply, even though the 3000 gets a 80. And it looks like this conglomerate pile of stuff. Now the 3000 by default has a four pin mofo. Two go to the switch. One is the interrupter, one is the neutral, and one is a ground. So this was the original power supply of Mr. Vern Bigfoot. Well it's not a Bigfoot now and it's going to get cleaned up. It's the original light on, the sticker was underneath. This board will sit, uh, I need wires front, so it will sit in here like this. As you can see I have plenty of room for the tick board right there. You can close the case up. This is all annoying and just goes like this. And being that I kept the original 3000's 
power. Dude, this should freaking reach. And I even have the grommet that I can wrap everything around when I'm ready. Let's see what we got. I could even put it down low. Like, I could even stick it right there. It doesn't matter. Or just let it hang. You know? It's like a Saturday morning out of the shower. Just let it hang. So that's where I'm at. It's late. I've worked all day. And I'm tired. So I'll see you at a nano. Over the past five days, I have effed with this power supply. I am at 99% complete. And I'm going to finish the final bits. I have to wire in the power cord. This was the back of the little, the bigger of the two that didn't fit. This has a ground, a neutral, and a line with the little ballast. So I need that to be this. I wired some new wires to the line and load. The ground will go to the case, the original Amiga 3000 adapter. I tried using the little ATX aftermarket one, wouldn't work. Not worried about a switch. I'm going to use a regular AT style two pole button. It screws into the Amiga 3000. It's got the nipple. And the 110 230. It's a weird one. Or 115 230. Our power is 120. Yours is 240. They just call it 110. It's not 110. It's 120. Well, 230. It's 240. 220, 240. Ours is 220 because we have, or ours is 240. Yeah, see, I'm getting lost in it. It's the stupidity too. It's just nicknames. 115, 120. It's 120 volt in the US, 240 everywhere else, right? So anyway, this 115, 230 switch, 120, 240, uh, either it's, it's a double pole, so it's either that side or this side. Well, on NTSC North American power, it's this. So I'm going to take this wire and shove it in that hole and lock this thing into 120 volts. Now I could simply unsolder the wire because everything's hot, but that works too. And this is salt, so we throw that out. I got everything wired up. I'm almost ready for a test fire once I get this thing locked in. I was going to just tie this together, but it's kind of rigged that way. So I'm actually going to take it out. So I can see it a little better. Ouch. Ouch. And drop it right on the floor. Just a big wire mess is all it is. Yeah. And I've almost burnt myself like 373,000 times. Wire stripper. Twist it up. Shove it through the hole where I think it goes through. Yep, says 115. Shove it in there. And just solder it in. Done. That way it eliminates the switch, it jumpers the one to there, and everybody's happy. So, and then I'll take some cutters and snip them down so it's flush. Cheap ass Chinese wire. Is anything good anymore? I swear. We'll cut that off. I'm going to put some heat shrink tube over this because this wire sucks ass. I'm going to take my continuity tester. Um, you see it? There it is. And I'm just going to go over the rails here. Just a little bit of homage, but I won't tell if you won't. Put the grounds back on. Hmm. Scary stuff. What I did find is the Chinese reverse the neutral and load. Luckily in America, my neutral and ground are bonded. But I don't know why it was uh, like that. Yeah. 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 That's good. This is not hard work, it's just so boringly tedious. I'm surprised I got a video out of it before. Like, horrendously boring. Power supply is grounded. So we're going to put the plastic back in this way. So we have total protection. This is also foam lined. Okay? This will go in here like this. Hiya! Right? All this magic crap through here. I'm going to leave the tick board outside for now. 
this so we can see the lights come on on it. We can plug the fan into it or or the board itself. My mains breaker is off. I'm going to rig this around so this is plugged in and click my switch and here we go. So did you see the light? It's on. Fan doesn't spin. So let me turn it off. Let me move this. I don't know. That's not it either. I don't know what the negative is for the fan. I, I don't know. 12 volt ground. Uh, we'll go this way then. That seems light. Okay. I did it. Oh, gnarly! 5 volts. 5.16. Leaving it running. Negative here. This will be 12 volts. 12.38. This is 5 volts. 5 volts. 5 volts. 5 volts. And 5 volts. I'm literally doing the pin here. This is negative 5. Negative 501. This is 5. This is a tick. Which is right. This is negative 12. 11, 2, 4, and this is positive 12. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an Amiga 3000 power supply with a tick board and a fan that works. And a button? Hold on. Hallelujah. i got to figure out something on this fan because it's uh, bass backwards. I don't need to use this. I can use the power supplies. Uh, fan header, which is a two-pin header. God, building power supplies is boring. Oh, if you are a power supply builder, my praise to you, because it is just all the wires in your way, and I mean, I know I don't, I have the ultimate working setup here, like the best tool bench and everything. Okay, DuPont connector. DuPont connector. Oh, turn on. And Hi, here's what I ended up with. The board screwed in, the tick board is right there. Board screwed in, fits. Original grommet. All right, here it is done. That's the regular, it still looks short. I have some more, but it still looks short. Just like my other stupid power supply that was too short. Too short looking. I have some room in there I could pull out, but we're rocking. And it's not too bad. It's the original fan, believe it or not. That's just the power supply for the case that I haven't even started working on. Well, I've stripped it, but I had to get something working so I could do, do that stuff. Funny, you bastard.